Today I want to tell you about a book called Maisie Chen's Last Chance by Lisa Yi. So as you might have guessed, our main character is Maisie Chen and as the book begins, she and her mother are traveling from LA to the small town of Last Chance, Minnesota, where her grandparents live. Now you know where all the words in the title come from. So Maisie's grandparents own a Chinese restaurant called The Golden Palace and they are the only Asian Americans that live in this small town and coming from a big city like LA, it feels very weird to Maisie to be one of only a few non-white people. To make matters worse, Maisie barely knows her grandparents. Uh, prior to this, she had only met them once before and that was a very brief meeting. Maisie doesn't know why, but her mom does not have a good relationship with them. But Opa is sick and there's a chance that he might not get better. So she and her mother are going to be spending the summer with them in Last Chance. Fortunately, Maisie clicks with her grandparents right away and she loves playing, playing uh, poker with her opa and helping out Oma in the restaurant. And one day when Maisie is trying to avoid uh, the sounds of her mother and Oma arguing, she wanders into the back office of the restaurant and she notices there a wall that is covered in old photographs of Chinese men who she doesn't recognize. So Maisie decides to ask Opa about the photos and he tells her a tale that begins in a tiny village in the Guangdong province of China all of the way back in 1853 when a baby named Lucky was born. Opa turns out to be a wonderful storyteller, but he refuses to tell her the whole story all at once, instead parceling it out a little bit at a time and detailing Lucky's journey from China to San Francisco and eventually to Last Chance. Along with Lucky's story, we get the story of Maisie's two months in small town, Minnesota, where she makes some friends and connects with her grandparents. And she also has to deal with um, some other things, some racist acts that are both subtle and overt. For example, she is complimented on how well she speaks English, even though she's an American. At first, she mostly ignores the thoughtless comments and the snide remarks, uh, but then the unthinkable happens. Bud the bear, who is a giant seven foot tall black bear statue that stands guard at the entrance of the Golden Palace is stolen and a ransom note is left in his place. The local sheriff doesn't see the crime as a priority, so Maisie takes it upon herself to locate Bud and find out who's behind his disappearance. There's a lot going on that Maisie can't control and a lot of wrongs that she can't right. But if she can solve this mystery, she can bring happiness to her opa and bring the thief to justice. I always love a good grandparent story and this one did not disappoint. The story of Maisie's great, great, great grandfather, Lucky made for a wonderful mixture of past and present Lucky is the reason that the Chen family owns the Golden Palace and that they live in Last Chance, but his journey to get there was not easy or straightforward. The author, Lisa Yi, shows us that although the experience of Chinese Americans has changed a lot since Lucky immigrated in the 1860s, some things, sadly, have stayed the same. So if you like family stories with a lot of heart and humor, I highly recommend Maisie Chen's Last Chance by Lisa Yee. Thanks.